Dan here, Senior Pastor of Epic Life Church here in Terrell, Texas, bringing you another three-minute Thursday uh, as we take three minutes or less and look at subjects and topics of the Bible. Today, we're going to nail down the fifth commandment. But before we do, don't forget to subscribe to our page, like this video, leave a comment. Let us know, man, if there's an, if you have an idea or something you'd like me to talk on in three minutes. And click that bell icon so that you'll be, um, you'll be notified every time a new three-minute Thursday comes out, or for that fact, any video uh, that comes out from Epic Life Church. Man, this is a powerful teaching today, and I hope you'll 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 receive it with love and in the in the intent that it's given. The Bible says in the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 12, as we look at the fifth commandment, let's read it together. Honor your father and your mother so that your days may be long upon the land which Adonai your God is giving you. We see that the very first commandment that God has promised is a t that, that there's a promise attached to it. Why is that? Because the base of how we treat others is linked to the way we love and honor our mother and father. This is so powerful uh, when you look at it. You see, we're commanded to love others. Notice the first four commandments that we've talked about is about love loving God, and now the next six commandments we're going to look at are about loving others, and God starts it out with loving your parents or honoring your mother and father. Everything hinges on the way you honor your mother and father, right? I want us to know something, that the promise that we get when we honor our parents is that of a long life and that it would go well with us on earth. But look at this. In contrast, look at what Paul tells us in Timothy, what would be the signs or a sign of the end times. 2 Timothy chapter 3, beginning in verse 1. But understand this that in last days there will come times of difficulty, for people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving God, treacherous, reckless, swollen, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having the appearance of godliness but denying its power, avoid such people. Among the abusive, among selfishness, among the reckless, among the conceited, among the unappeasable, right there in the middle of that are, are children who disobey their mother and father. Note that every time that judgment has come in within the nation of Israel, you'll see this, that one of the things that they did was they, dis, they, they dishonored their parents. Very powerful, very powerful thing. But in Proverbs 15 and 20, it says something very powerful right there. It says, tell us, Proverbs 15 12 tells us that a wise son makes a father glad, but a foolish man despises his mother. This word despise means uh, their, the counsel, their instruction, their wisdom, completely despises it. And then in Deuteronomy chapter 27, verse 6, it tells us that there's a curse attached to the one who dishonors his mother and father. Who wants to live under the curse? Nobody. But notice that the blessing the opposite of a curse is a blessing is found in the way we honor our mother and father. Now, I want to take a good look at this command. Notice what is not included. Look at the scripture really close in Exodus 20. Notice what's not included. I'll give you a second. Did you get it or did you miss it? It's very important. Notice what's not included. The condition. What's the condition for us to love our, or honor our mother and father? There is none. The, really the condition is, is that you are a follower of God, that you have received Yeshua into your heart, and part of that is loving and honoring your parent. Look at the world today. The further away they get from honoring or loving the Father, the further away they get from honoring parents. We see this every day where children, adults now becoming adults, completely dishonor uh, their mother and father and are bringing shame on to their families. As I wrap up, I want you to honor your father and mother, and it's not based on how they, how good they were. It's not based upon whether they raised you right or that they earn it or they deserve it. Just like the father, man, that we don't earn God's love. We don't deserve God's love, but he loves us anyway. He demonstrates what it looks like. We're to do that same thing with our parents. Even though they may not deserve it, we still honor them because God loves us and because we're followers, we're imitators 
of Mashiach, Messiah, in Jesus' name. Man, I want you, I hope you'll honor your mother and father today. I hope you'll take some time to maybe reflect. Maybe you need to give mom and dad a call and say, man, I'm really sorry for dishonoring you. Or maybe you need to start by just simply forgiving them because maybe they didn't do it right. But you can start right today in Yeshua's name, right? Shalom. I hope this has blessed you. I hope this encourages you to open up your Bible and read it. Until next time, we'll see you then.